Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have an unidentified African American female. Estimated age to be around 20 to 40 years old. I wonder if she could have been as young as 18 or 19. Um, her body was found September 20th, 1994. She was only 5 foot 1 and only weighed 88 pounds. So very tiny, defenseless woman. Estimated PMI, just hours. It looks like somebody probably, you know, it looks like they beat her to death or something. She has bruises all over her face. She was found in a field. A man was eventually tried and convicted. It doesn't give his name or any information. But the descendant was never identified. And they didn't say where he found her, where he took her, or anything to give you more information about who she might be. Recognizable face. Long black curly hair, 8 inches in maximum length. It looks a little bit shorter than that, but I don't know. Brown eyes. Each earlobe pierced only one time. And, you know, this is somebody's daughter. Somebody's loved one. Um, it could be be you know they're like hey how come my daughter didn't come home it could be somebody's wife it could be somebody's mother there could have been a child out there going hey why where's my mommy what happened to my mommy why didn't she come home you know uh somebody's niece it could be somebody's best friend this is somebody's loved one and they don't know who it is and and that's just heartbreaking and very very sad so if you have any information about who this might be or if you have loved ones that was missing at the time or around that time make sure that they're in NamUs don't you know if you call and they say oh yeah they've been reported missing well the investigator should have put them in NamUs so make sure they're in NamUs and if not um, if you can't get them in NamUs try to get them into the Doe Network and the Charlie Project but I don't know who it could be. I could mention a couple of people that were missing at the time. Um, Hazel Ruth Smith. I don't know if this is a scar right here or if that's just something on the film when they took the picture. I'm not sure. Um, she was five foot one and she weighed 148 pounds in 1993, it says, when she went missing. Last seen walking in the vicinity of Northwest Baker Road in Atlanta, Georgia. It does say February 5th, 1993. And this lady was found, uh, you know, a year and a half later. And if this is a scar, then I wouldn't think that could be her because it doesn't look like she has a scar. And then there's Colette Williams. Oh, what a beautiful young lady. Missing from Macon, Georgia. What is that? Like an hour and a half away from where that Jane Doe was found. And I don't know. You know, that she went missing, what, seven, eight months before they found that Jane Doe? She was five foot one um, and estimated to be about 120 pounds. Brown hair. It looks dark to me. It says with red hair, hair light highlights but I don't see it pierced ears um, she left her residence says about 20 hundred hours um, what is that eight o'clock at night on December 17th 1993 she didn't have her purse she did not have any ID with her at the time she was last seen I don't know if that could be her or not she does have a slender face. I can't tell how many times her ears are pierced. And then this is her on the Charlie Project. Born 10-12-1971. 22 years old. Um... Just says she never came, she never returned home. It's the only more information in the birth date. How sad. So, I don't know if that could be her. Or if it's somebody else. Um, if you have any 
idea who this might be or what might have happened to Hazel Ruth Smith or Colette Williams, please contact authorities with any information that you have because it's been it's been a lot of years. It's been like 30 years. So please contact them with any information you have, even if it's hearsay, you're not sure if it's relevant, you're not sure if it's important, or if it's just, you know, where they were last seen, who they were with, where they worked, where they spent time at. Just any information that you might have after all these years that might help them. Don't forget to pray for their family and their loved ones. Feel free to leave comments and... Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.